Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to this evening's webinar here at Blackstar HQ. Uh, my name's Steve Marks. I'm the product trainer in the UK, and uh, I get to train all you lovely guys out there and gals on your gear, as well as the guys in store, so they're all clued up. Um, but tonight, really, we're going back in time a little bit, um, just to really look at a fantastic range of amplifiers that we do, uh, called the Venue Range, and all of the amplifiers that really kind of sit under that umbrella, I guess. Um, they're an award-winning series of amps, and really, the best way to describe them is, you know, your, your working musician's multi-tool. Um, they do a number of things, and obviously, through your... Uh, speakers at home, hopefully you'll get a good vibe uh, of what they're all about, but I, I encourage you to visit your local Black Star dealer and just go and try these amps out. If you're in the market to buy a new product or just uh, get out there gigging and you want something new, um, they really tick a lot of boxes. They give you everything from really nice boutique cleans to really super high gain sounds, so you can get a number of things in between as well. So uh, for somebody who's really into that classic, maybe American clean tone, you can get it. Um, if you're into that British clean tone, you can get it, uh, like a nice 60s, 70s boutique thing. If you're into really kind of nice bluesy overdrives, it's in there, and also really modern high gains, it's also in there as well. So I'm gonna run through some of the amps here this evening. Um, obviously we haven't got the whole range, uh, and we've got some other uh, new additions as well to, to kind of remind you about. Um, we'd love to have them all here, but uh, we've got a few anyway for you to, for you to have a look at. Um, now, before I go any further, we've actually got a competition running this evening. Uh, you can win a fantastic HT1 combo, uh, which is signed by our good friend Gus G from Firewind and Ozzy's Band. And currently he's got a brand new solo album out as well, so it's worth checking that out on, on YouTube. Um, but this is the amplifier. A very lovely HT1 valve combo, one watt combo, um, and that's hopefully you can see his signature on the side there. Um, so in order to win that, we're going to get you to email us uh, with the answer to a question I'm going to uh, ask uh, during the webinar. So make sure your ears are peeled. Uh, and hopefully you'll get it right at the end. I'm going to give you the email now so you can make a note, but I'll also remind you at the end as well. If you can send your answer to inquiries at blackstaramps.com and just reference it Gus G and uh, we'll announce a winner tomorrow here at HQ. So that's uh, a pretty cool thing to have because they sound amazing. Um, so, I mean, the first thing I'm plugged into is actually one of the venue uh, heads. It's the uh, Stage 100. Um, all the venue stuff, uh, apart from the newer metal range, run EL34 valves. So they're inherently uh, a British tone, but with our ISF, you can of course get that uh, scooped American tighter sound as well, which I'll uh, run over with you. Um, so at the moment, um, the 100 watt head is actually a three channel beast. It comes equipped with a foot switch, as all of the venue amps do. Um, so it's fully accessible straight away. You could buy it on the Saturday morning and gig it on the Saturday night. Um, a lot of people uh, around the world always comment on the venue range, especially in every Black Star ramp, that as soon as you plug in, it's not hard to find a fantastic sound. So um, I'm going to show you how easy it is. And hopefully um, you may have one of these amps already. Uh, if not, you can maybe, like I said, check out your local dealer or check them out on our website so you can see the, the panel controls. Um, but on the, on the amp is itself we've got here, we've got a clean channel uh, with a voicing switch, uh, and that consists of a, a treble and a bass for our EQ. And then we've got an OD1 and an OD2, both of which have got voicing switches. Um, and then we've got our EQ section, which consists of a bass, mid and a treble with our ISF as well. Um, and we can really use that only on the overdrives, um, but it allows us to really achieve that sound in, in your head. Um, Black Star's ethos since day one has always been about removing limitations, uh, and it's about giving the guitar player and the, and the professional guitar player um, every option at his fingertips. Uh, and it really, uh, it really is in there. So we've got reverb on here as well, which is a digital reverb. 
Um, it would have been uh, very easy to go with a spring reverb, um, like a lot of kind of classic American style amps, uh, but we felt that a digital reverb uh, reflected the overdrives much better and it's a little more, little more controllable. Um, there's two reverbs on, on venue amps, which is also a cool thing if you didn't know that. Um, there's a dark and a light switch on the rear panel of the amp, which allows you to get more of a, a shimmering modern reverb with the light and darker, a much dimmer kind of classic reverb sound. Um, we've then got our master controls, which consist of a master volume and a resonance and presence control. So they're really there to tailor, the, tailor your sound to the, to the room that you might be playing in or gigging in um, to look after the, the bass and treble response of the cabinet. Um, so at the moment, I'm in the clean channel, um, and I've got my voicing switch in, which means I'm on a warm, clean sound. So this remains clean no matter how loud you go, and it's a lovely, lush, warm, full-bodied, modern clean. quite sparkly but still full bodied. The voicing switch out is more of a boutique clean so it's got a more grittier clean tone so it breaks up earlier and the harder you dig in of course um, you get that kind of boutique -y, brittle sound so <laughs> Keep in mind of a couple of licks you know Back off your attack on your pick. Still clean, you know. You know, so very, uh, very shimmering. Um, one very cool thing that not many people will realise with the with the venue stuff, especially if you take your clean channel there, for example, and if I just turn my master volume down and I increase the volume of that particular channel, um, we can virtually get um, what I'd deem as a, a drive sound. Now, to get that out of a clean channel of an amp um, at lower volumes, if you like, maybe for recording or gigging, um, it's a very, very cool thing and of course we always try and encourage you using your volume on your guitar to back off and then you've got clean and then a semi-driven clean. So check it out. So if I crank my guitar now... If I roll my volume off, still on the clean sound. Very, very cool to be able to control your amp like that. And try it out if you're a guy who works in store. If you've got a local store that you know sells Blackstar, go and check it out, it's very cool. So if we back that volume down again. So on to the second channel, uh, OD1. Um, if we just go there, I've got it set basically with a, the voicing switch out uh, and the gain roughly around about two o'clock. Uh, and my ISF will go for more of a, a British sound because we can engage our EQ and ISF section now. <laughs> If I roll my volume as well. So 
So you can see there, so much control from the guitar just through one channel of the amp. So if you're utilizing all three, the, the, the world's your oyster, really. Um, if you put the voicing switch in, you get a slightly more modern higher gain. You put your mind of a lick. Voicing switch in. So a really nice modern high gain. Um, and then even more so with our red channel, uh, OD2. Um, I've got the gain around about three o'clock here, so it's quite high. Um, now is go from our, um, let me just mute that channel so it's not making noise. Um, I'm gonna go from my uh, British high gain, if you will, right through to a tighter American sound utilizing the ISF. If you don't know what ISF is, it's a, a patent to Black Star, and it stands for Infinite Shape Feature. And it allows you to really uh, control the sound that you're looking for, the sonic. Uh, and what happens is you've got your bass, your middle, your treble, which is your tone stack. And it basically, if you're moving ISF around, it really moves your tone stack all the way around, but it works very much in conjunction with the mid cut, um, the mid dip, which occurs on any amplifier tone stack. And it really helps you shape your sound. So we can get a woodier British open sound like we've got, we'll start with, and then I'll move over to a more tighter American feel. <laughs> So, uh, trying to get a bit metal on you there. Uh, it's really a great, versatile amplifier. If you think back to where we were, lovely warm cleans, boutique cleans, classic crunch, more of a British vein, through to a more modern high gain American style sound. So really, you can't fail to get something fantastic out of this as any guitar player. Um, so that's really one of the heads, and, and all of the aspects that I've shown you work on every venue amplifier, just in a different wattage, in a combo, for example. Um, before I forget as well, a very cool feature of the venue stuff is the amplifier automatically turns into standby if the lead gets pulled out. So you'll notice there's no nasty, you know, we've still got the amplifier running. <laughs> As soon as you plug out, there's no nasty pop, which is a really unique feature. Um, so, I mean, for example, down the bottom here, we've got our stage 62 by 12, which is very, very similar controllability wise, as I've just shown you on the 100 head. We've got a club 50 head there as well for, a, you know, a 50 watt kind of guy. Um, this is probably one of my favorite amplifiers and uh, very, very cool to gig with. Um, in the middle here, We've got the 40, which is probably the most value, bang for your buck, for your money, basically. So with the 40 watt, it's an ideal gigging amp. It's, it's light enough that you can carry it by yourself and you can keep it at home and jam at home, of course. Now, the, the Venue series has some really unique things going on on the back. We've got things like speaker outputs, different homages that you can choose from so you can connect to external cabs. We've got an effects loop with a, a dB increase on there as well if you're using rack mount or pedals uh, for, your, for your mods and delays, anything going through the effects loop. And also we've got a very cool thing called an emulated out. If you don't know what that is, it allows you to connect directly to an external source like a, a mixer, or a PA, 
uh, or a, a recording device or anything like that. Now, the one thing you can do with this is um, one thing I do anyway when I'm gigging, and it's it's thinking outside the box a little bit, but that's part of my job. Um, I actually put an emulated cable in, which is just a normal standard guitar cable, into the mixer, and I'll put the amplifier on standby, and that means a couple of things. You can record silently that way, if you're at home, for example, or you can just monitor simply the emulated out mix, which is voiced slightly differently to the traditional mic sound in front of the amp. And I'll get a mix through the PA when I'm playing live and get it just sounding nice enough through my monitor if I'm lucky enough to have any. And then I'll mute that channel, but then I'll stick a nice micro microphone in front of the cab and then I'll stick that through the PA as well and take the traditional sound of the amplifier. So really I'm getting two signals from one amp. And that's a really cool thing to do and you can mess around with the panning of each and it sounds almost uh, stereo-like if you, if you will. So it's a very cool thing to try but now, as you can see probably, we haven't got a microphone in front of this, we're using the emulated line out. So I'm going to let you hear a 40 watt uh, using the emulated. So bear with me for a second, we're going to plug in. Make sure that's okay level-wise. So cool. So now you're you're listening to the amplifier via the emulated output. Um, so we've got a uh, touch of reverb on there, and I'm going through the warm clean currently. So. clean as well for you. <laughs> On to overdrive, which adds. infinite shape feature was on the British side then. Uh, so voicing switch in, same amount of gain, ISF USA, we get a nice kind of uh, tighter American style sound. <laughs> So hopefully that should have given you a really cool idea of how the amplifier sounds via the emulated. And that's the kind of, if we just switch it to standby, I'm not listening to anything now through the amp, hopefully this <laughs> Pretty cool. So if you live in a small apartment maybe or a, a small house where you've got a young child, great for silent practicing with headphones, silent recording. Um, so one of the new additions to the venue family uh, was released last year, HT Metal. Um, predominantly the thing with this is they use 6L6 tubes, which are more renowned, if you like, for American high gain amps. So we've got the 100 watt head plugged in currently. Um, so I'm just going to let you listen to this. It's a very, very similar configuration. At the moment we've got a HT5 head, um, as well as the 60 watt combo. You can see the very cool metal fascia on there to really kind of make it look very, <laughs> very metal. Um, currently they have actually won some awards as well. The Metal 5 and the 60 have won Best Buy Total Guitar and the 5 has won a gold award for guitarists as well, which is a 
a fantastic accolade um, and they're not easy to come by. So again, if you're really into that kind of high gain sound with a bit more sting in the tail, these are fantastic for that. So currently, the clean channel, so. Voicing switch in, voicing switch out. Brittle. Onto overdrive one. ISF was actually in the middle there, and when I was jamming earlier, I just felt that the the middle position was right for me, and that's the beauty of Black Star. You can find your own sound. Um, let's really put it over to that American side on OD2. So we're really taking advantage of that uh, high gain. Tons of gain at your fingertips. Really loud, really prominent, great for metal guys. But one of our sales guys that works here for the North gigs a metal 60 combo, and he's a blues guy. So that just shows you that the, the sounds are so versatile, it's not just aimed at the, at the high gain metal players. You can get wonder, wonderful bluesy stuff out of it as well. If I just uh, bat my gain off there and go for more of a, maybe a British sound. <laughs> So you can see there's more than just high gain out of it. Um, these little babies at the back here really redefined what Black Star is all about and it really opened up a lot of people's eyes. We've got the one watt of course, which I mentioned earlier, you can win. I'm gonna ask you a question at the end of this webinar, which is only a few minutes away. And hopefully you can kind of get in touch tomorrow or this evening, inquiries at blackstaramps.com, reference it Gus G. And as long as you've got the right answer, you could be a winner. The HT5 is uh, really one of our most amazing amplifiers. It's one of our best sellers around the world and really reshaped smaller valve amplifiers. Um, we've got a clean channel and an overdrive channel as well as our infinite shape feature, ISF. Uh, and we can get some wonderful high gain sounds at low, low volume. Now, you might look at a HT5 and think, five watts, that's pretty cool, could have it at home, maybe I could record with it. I have actually gigged with one of these. Uh, for my sins, I play in like a corporate band from time to time, just for some extra pocket money. And very much like I spoke to you about earlier, mic in front, emulated line out of the back, same features as the bigger venue stuff. Um, two signals coming from the amp, crank it up through the PA, it sounds amazing. So um, let's just get this baby on. Okay, so we need to get a mic in front, yeah? Yeah, um, let's, go for a, let's go for a mic in front. Oh, 
Oh, that'd be great, true, yeah. Please welcome on stage. Hi. Mr. Drew McDonald, UK sales manager. Cheers, man. It's a little wet there, so we'll back the reverb off a little for you. Um, we've got one single tone control and one volume for the clean. A case of finding your sweet spot on that. thing with this is if you crank that volume it starts to break up just right for a boutique -y kind of feel roll your volume off of course Onto the overdrive channel, we now have our three-tone stack, bass, middle, treble, and our ISF, infinite shape feature, so we can really get some wonderful sounds, anything from bluesy, crunch, right through to super high gain. So we'll start with the, with the gain fairly low. Um, switch that channel on. Play for hours. So uh, there's so much to the venue range and the little baby brothers and sisters. HT1, HT5. This beautiful amplifier at, at, at this side is the 5210. It's basically a HT5 with a 2x10 speaker. Speakers in there. Um, sounds pretty much exactly the same as this, but it's got more of a more depth to it. Um, these are beautiful. I've, I've bought one of those myself and uh, very giggable. If you, if you did what I said earlier about the emulated line out, mic in front as well. Even just the emulated through PA sounds amazing. But you've got a lot more depth there. So if you like a more bass response to your cab, the 2x10 is really worth looking at. But lovely lush reverbs, same as this one. It's all digital. So, um, we've really come to the end of our webinar now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, any questions that you have, please fire them to inquiries at blackstaramps.com, of course. Um, we've got some really cool things happening over the next few weeks. Um, I'm going to ask the question now uh, for the HT1. Just to remind you, if you've tuned in a little later, this is signed by our good friend Gus G from Firewind and Ozzy Osbourne's band. Um, he's got a very cool solo album just coming out. Check out his new tune on YouTube. Um, HT1. The question is, if you've been listening, what does ISF stand for? It's a patent to Blackstar. We've talked about it a few times tonight, and it really helps you find the sound in your head. So what does ISF stand for? Title the email Gus G reference, and hopefully we'll uh, announce one of your lucky watchers tomorrow as a winner, and you'll get yourself a very cool amp. Now, this time of year is very important for us at Blackstar. We've got a, a big show in LA called the NAM Show. It's the biggest trade show for musical instruments. And uh, we've got some very exciting products coming to fruition. Um, the guys have they've worked very, very hard on them. And uh, I'm going to play some stuff through that amplifier or that series of amplifier now for you to check out. But of course, I can't show you. So it's a sneaky listen. See what you think. Um, we had uh, a YouTube video go live today, so check it out on there as well, just to give you a, 
another soundbite. But remember to add us on Facebook, like our page on Facebook, Black Star. Find us on Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep up to date. Um, and that's about all I've got to say for this evening. But thanks for watching. I'm going to plug into our new series of amplifiers now. Let's see what you think. Okay, so uh, again, thanks for watching. Um, I'm just going to play a few sound bites for you, and uh, we'll see you very, very soon. Thank you.